Good morning. Welcome to another journey across the plains. My name is Tom. I uh, got a special permission out here this morning. We're going to be hitting at a, a scout camp over here in Nebraska. Uh, get to get to be joined today by uh, John White with Crazy Spider Adventures, uh, Casey Overeater, and uh, Bob Cavan, who got us the permission. So hopefully we'll have some good stuff to show you guys here pretty soon. Well, uh, we'll see you on the first hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I got a got a 24 signal and it was down there a ways but uh being that we're in a scout camp not surprised to see this one got a got a wolf rank and then uh casey over here just found one too what was what was your rank that you had yeah mine was a cub scout slide yeah. oh yeah that one's that one's the actual boy scout slide so yeah that's that's pretty universal across all ranks yeah. nice fine guys Thank you, sir. where's yours at john guys yeah yeah <laughs> John, where's yours? Where's yours? Let's see. I'm it. going back over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I haven't popped this yet, but it's down about four or five inches. I was given a kind of an ugly signal, but I'm assuming that's because it was under a root. Got a, it looks like we got a 1942 plane. 1942 plane. Sweet. There we go. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next hole. Here we go, guys. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, definitely a weedy though, so we're in a spot for quite a bit more silvers. This one looks like it's a 1950 uh, plane. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next hole. Hey guys, I hear something in the bushes over here saying he found something cool. I think it was Bob over here yelling, so we'll we'll come over here and we'll we'll take a peek, see what we got. See you in a second. <laughs> so, let's see what you get there. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Anything on the back? Oh, yeah. Got the whole, excuse that the motto back there? Or the E-O. Scout Oath. That's why I only said that a few times when I was in the scouts. <laughs> so, nice find, man. Well, I got John in disbelief here. He's got his 30-30. It wasn't reading anything good. I just popped a plug. Half dollar. Not a kidding. What do we get? I didn't think it was on my machine. I can't even tell what it is. Oh, it's a it's a walker. 1945. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! I might be putting the foot back in the car because I spun over. I didn't think it was a half. That that rang up as a 35. Yeah, I, I knew what that was. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you on the next hole. <laughs> Nothing compared to a half. What'd you get there? Edit out my complaining about the mine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. 1944. Yep. You get a mint mark on that. Nope, no mint. Nice one. Well, there's there, there's good stuff out here. Well, here's an interesting one for you guys. Uh. I was actually uh, active duty for a while, and that is a uh, captain's bars. Uh, it's just a couple couple stripes. Probably would have been hung up on the lapel of the uh, of the uniform, but yeah, that's a that's a pretty cool one. It's just silver washed. You can see the uh, see the copper coming through, but that's definitely a first for me. Uh, that's a heck of a find in my book. Okay, guys, we'll see you soon. It's been a little while since I found anything worth putting on camera. Just pop this guy out. It was uh, ringing up about, about like a wheat penny. I'll have to look what that is. I, I want to say that's uh, a little pin that would have gone on the shoulder, I think, though. Uh, I'll be able to verify that for sure. But we'll keep moving on. We'll find something else. We'll see you soon. Well, hey, guys, I've got a, I've got an interesting find for you here. It's uh, Bob's got this one. We'll, uh, we'll run over here and take a peek. See you there. So what'd you get? That's better than it. That's a, that's a little bigger than a half. Yeah, yeah, a little bigger. <laughs> and he said, so you used the you used the AT Pro, right? He yeah. said it was a 79? Yep. That's it. I would have thought that was a lot higher. What'd you get over there on the Equinox? What was it? 88. 38. Oh, 38. 39. Not 88. 38. Yeah, that's, thing is huge. <laughs> that's, a, that's an awesome find, man. Nice one. Well, hey, guys, it's been a little while since we found a, piece of scout memorabilia but uh that looks like a looks like a weebelo slide to me so that makes three for the day got two slides and that weebelo's guy so okay guys we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one 
Well, hey guys, check this one out. I really have no idea what this is. Um, I'm going to assume that this is scout related. It's got a little arrow, uh, a little, and it says sterling on the back, so it's definitely a little piece of sterling. Uh, and then this little guy, it's, uh, it, the, the outside ring is ringing up like a 20. So I don't know if that's sterling or, or what we got, but either way, either way, that's a pretty sweet find. I'm gonna, oh God, I just got, I got hit with a chunk of aluminum. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> well, guys, I have, I, I'll let you know. I'll have something popped up on the screen for you. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Well, guys, uh, it looks like it's time for me to finally go talk to John. It took him long enough, but he said he's got, got something shiny, so we'll go take a look. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> so, What'd you get there? About time. About time. Hey, look at that. 53. 53. It's not a 65 this time. No. Nope. Any mint? A mud mint. A mud mint. I think I see a D on there. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a D in there. Yeah, it looks so, like it. It's a 53 D. Cool. You're on the board with the silver now. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> You're doing good. All right. Now I'm gonna You're doing, well, you found several wheat pennies, though, haven't you? I did. Three. 40, you got three. 40. Yeah, I've only, I've only got one wheat, so you're beating me on wheats. I always love finding wheats. So I, I, I will take my silvers, though. Yeah. <laughs> I was calling you Mr. Sterling on my camera. Mr. Sterling. <laughs> uh, anybody who watches my channel very often knows I don't find silver all that much. <laughs> Okay, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next good find. Okay, guys. I'm uh, I'm not quite sure what I've got here, um, but I was ringing a 34, 35. It was a little bouncy. Not totally sure what we got, but I figured we'll uh, we'll give it a shot here and see what we got in the plug together. Uh oh. Well, yeah. Curse of the live dig right there. Got a big brass coupler. <laughs> Sure sounded good. Was hoping for another half. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. What'd you get there, Casey? It's actually a Mac Tools knife. No kidding. Yeah, yeah I bet it was. <laughs> Mac Tools. Yeah, you, you might actually be able to clean that up and still use it. That's what I was thinking, too. Might be a handy knife. <laughs> that's, a, that's an awesome knife. Somebody missed that one. Yeah. Maybe that's the Rangers. That, that could be. That could be. So... One of these days, we'll get John on another video again. Yeah, he's still struggling out there. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you. We'll see you on the next hole. So we've got a 33-34 with a reeded edge. Oh, yeah. You guys see that right there? Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. 72. 72. Ooh, close. Yeah. Not bad. Awesome. Well, you were three years off of silver. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> so, awesome. not bad. Well, it's a big coin at least. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll take it. Won't complain about it. Okay, guys. We'll see you on the next one. It's stack time. <laughs> it's a good... We got some of the stuff in our face. <laughs> it's a it's a good intermission between videos. Best combination. Oh, <laughs> Share to the world the pickles and squirt. Pickles and oh. squirt. Pickle chips and squirt. <laughs> that's the, the that's the secret to success. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> not a page sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a page sponsor. <laughs> Casey's he's got a video worthy find. Is that? Oh, look at that! Oh man, that's got some pretty design in there. Yeah, just trying to figure out what it was. Almost looks like a rose. Does it? It does. It almost looks like a rose. Wow, man, that's that's cool. Huh? Well, that's a good sign that there could be some other good stuff yeah, in here. Yeah. But well, we came down here to where John used to camp when he was a scout way back in the day but we got a 1946 d wheat uh we found a few others in through here uh casey's found a few wheats but uh all the other ones down here have been memorials so far so hopefully we can find something a little more interesting but we'll uh 
We'll see y'all in the next hole. Okay, guys, just ran across another weed here. Looks like we got ourselves a 1952. All right, we'll see you on the next hole. All right, well, it looks like I might have just got myself something good. It was just barely under the surface right here. I've yet to reveal what it is, though. Oh, I'll throw it on the ground real quick. All right, I don't actually know what this... Oh, there we go. I can see Roosevelt through there. It's a little rosy. 1961. First rosy of the day for me. Not too shabby. See you guys on the next hole. Well, hey, guys, I'm down below this big old cottonwood tree right here. I don't know if y'all can see that edge right there. What is it? Ooh, it's a Washington. It is a beautiful silver Washington. 19, 1951. Not too bad. Got a dime, a quarter, and a half dollar in the same day. And of course, some wheats. That's pretty awesome. We'll see you on the next hole. Well, here's a nice piece. Uh, it was ringing up like a 28, but it was a loud 28. But uh, that's definitely gonna be a uh, pocket watch of some sort. I don't know if I'll ever get any detail off of that, but if I do, I will uh, let you guys know. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next hole. John's calling me, making all sorts of weird hand gestures, so it's probably good. Got a Rosie? Yep. At least it's silver. 64. <laughs> 1964. <laughs> Just made it. <laughs> hey, that's all right. That's better than, way better than 65.